Do you ever have those moments when you're just like, wow, I am a silly person because what I just did was really dumb. Well, I have those fairly frequently and this time was no exception. Disclaimer, do not try this test at home because this was a terrible idea and that is the whole point. So don't do what I did, okay? Hey everybody, welcome to another video with RC with Adam. My name is Adam and in this video, um, <laughs> what I wanted to do was some propeller durability testing because I recently got these carbon fiber propellers. Uh, these are the same ones that you guys are going to be getting in the Proctober giveaway, which is still going on through October. And I was like, hmm, you know, carbon fiber is supposed to be really strong, very durable. So I thought, how could we test this out? That might be interesting. It might just be very visually interesting to see. Well, uh, it really didn't turn out like I had hoped. And, uh, you know, I would like to have had some super duper slow-mo, like a thousand frames per second, but I did not. So it, it, it wasn't that great. So the idea was plastic propeller versus carbon fiber propeller. Which one is more durable? The results were not exciting. And then I realized that the way the, the whole setup was was really pretty uh, dumb. And looking back, I'm like, oh, wow, that's that that was that was very silly of me to do that. Nevertheless, I still wanted to uh, show you the results of the very terrible propeller durability testing that I did. And maybe this would at least help you to figure out what to not do if you want to do a test like this. I would love to say that the results uh, indicate something, but they really don't other than propellers break and they usually break at the hub. So I guess that was the only thing that I really kind of found out was I was kind of curious whether the carbon fiber propeller would sort of like shatter or splinter farther out or if it would just break at the at the propeller hub. That's the center of the propeller where both blades are attached or multiple blades if it's a multi-bladed prop. Um, and, and of course each blade is the actual part of the propeller that sticks out and is useful. Uh, so they both broke right at the hub. The carbon fiber propeller definitely kind of, it didn't, it wasn't a clean break. It sort of just sort of, uh, it really kind of shredded apart because of the, because of the actual fibers in there. All right, so some of the things about this test that you do not want to repeat and in hindsight, I'm like, wow, that was really dumb. So, uh, what I should have done was, well, man, there are a lot of things I should have done differently, but okay. One of the dumbest things that I did was not having a way of controlling the, the power, the energy flow, the electricity to the motor, aside from going past the swinging blade of death. So that was really dumb. I don't know what I was thinking there. The other thing was I was standing in front of the propeller and basically throwing stuff into it, which I mean, is probably better than standing behind it. 
but not that great because it could kick it back or spit it out. And I was going to use rocks, but uh, I'm, it's probably very good that I did not get to that point in the testing because that could have been problematic. One of the good things that I did do was I did have heavy leather gloves and I had um, a helmet and face protection, so that was good. So the most important things were kind of, you know, taken care of there. But um, yeah, no, I don't, I really don't recommend it. So I'm gonna leave that to like the scientist people and maybe if I get like a better setup, I'll do some more propeller testing like that. But uh, ooh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. But you know what? These are the things that you learn sometimes. Sometimes you learn stuff the easy way. Sometimes you learn stuff the hard way. And uh, as Marty McFly from Back to the Future can surely tell you, Back to the Future fans know what I'm talking about. Anyway, well, hopefully this video was kind of helpful to you in some way, even though it basically just made me look like an idiot. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Consider subscribing to this channel if you like these videos and you want to see more of them. Comment down below what you thought of this test. And uh, please don't be mean, but you probably will be anyway, but that's okay. That's, you know, that's YouTube. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.